every year one of the IITs or IASC will conduct the exam will be given options A, B, C, D and you are supposed to answer either A or B or C or D. It's jobs for engineers. You can directly become a scientist if you write gate exam, if you clear gate what exam. What universities which take students from get through gate exam? Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain in detail about what is gate exam. Generally, I talk very slow. So you please watch this video in 2x speed so that you will be able to cover all the topics at a less time. Please watch my video at 2x speed. Now I am going to explain what is gate exam. Gate exam means graduate aptitude test for engineers. This is an entrance exam mainly for masters. I will explain you line, slide by slide. Gate is a national level exam and it is used to test the understanding of undergraduate level subjects in engineering, technology, science, architecture and humanitarians. You can do GATE in engineering, technology, science, architecture and humanitarians, right? And it is a, it is generally meant to be for postgraduate level entrance exam. It is meant to be for postgraduate level entrance exam, okay? It is meant to be for post graduation level entrance exam and it is conducted by seven iits and iasc every year one of the iits or iasc will conduct the exam and one great news is iit gohati is going to conduct the exam this year gate exam and trust me there are two times where iit gohati has given an exam paper and both the papers were very easy okay so this time also you are lucky that you might get a easy paper and i will share i will share the question papers of iit gohati in my telegram channel my telegram channel is rbrsr pw you join that channel i will share both the question papers which were sent by iit gohati okay and then what is the purpose of gate who are eligible for gate all the indian citizens are eligible for gate and for GATE, foreign students can also apply from some countries. What are the countries? From Bangladesh, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Ethiopia, Singapore and UAE, students can apply. But there are some few restrictions, okay? And what is the qualifying degree for GATE? You should be either having BE or BTEC or BSc or BR or you can be a MSc. And any final year student can also apply for GATE. You don't have to complete the degree third year and final years can apply for gate there is no age limit whatever age you are you can write gate and then what are the events generally gate exam ka when generally gate 2025 i will i'm talking about gate 2025 so gate 2025 application will come in august roughly in august and then the application form will close on october of 2024 this is about tentative dates okay this is about gate 2025 what has happened august 2024 the gate uh, application has released october 2024 it is closed and then february 2025 gate exam has happened and then march 2025 results have come out okay and now what is the exam pattern it is a computer based test you don't have to write it on the paper you have to answer the questions on a computer you will be allotted a slot and in that slot you will be given a college in that college in the computer science lab you will be given a computer on the computer you are supposed to answer the questions and the duration of gate exam is three hours and there are 30 different papers in gate gate triple e gate ee gate civil gate mechanical gate cs like that there are 30 papers in gate 2025 and this year it may even increase okay and there is a section called general aptitude. General aptitude is common for all the branches. And what are the types of questions? You will get multi-choice questions or MCQs. Multi-choice questions means you will be given options A, B, C, D and you are supposed to answer either A or B or C or D. And then you have multi-select questions. Multi-select questions means the answer can be more than one. A, B can be answer, B, C can be answer or A, B, C can be answer the answer can be more than one and then numerical answer type nat so you will be given a blank and you are supposed to type the answer right generally you will be given a blank and you are supposed to type the answer okay 
and then design of the questions how do they design the question they will design the questions to test your analysis to test your comprehension to test your recall and to test your synthesis and number of questions in gate are going to be 65 including 10 questions from general aptitude 10 questions will come from general aptitude and 65 questions you will get in general the distribution of questions are like this okay 85 marks you will get from the subject concerned for example for gate computer science 85 marks will be from gate computer science and general aptitude will be for 15 marks and there will be 13 marks for engineering mathematics and the subject subject questions will be for 72 marks and general aptitude will be for 15 marks right and the total marks for gate exam is 100 marks total marks for gate exam is 100 marks there are two types of mcqs one is one mark mcqs other is two mark mcqs if you at if your answer is right you will get one mark if your answer is right you will get two marks if your answer is wrong you will get negative marks which means if you are if you are attempting a one mark question and if your answer is right wrong you will get minus one by three and if you are attempting a two mark question and if your answer is wrong you will get minus two by three marks negative marking is there in gate exam so answer a question only if you are confident about the answer otherwise don't answer leave it okay and then there are no negative marks for nat nat questions for nat questions there are no negative marks so you have to definitely attempt the question so that if you are right you will get a mark if you are wrong you don't get a negative mark okay now what are the benefits of passing gate the benefits is one is you will have better job opportunities if you do masters from mtech or ms from iits iisc nits triple ITs, central universities there are a lot of colleges even if you get a rank within 2000 you will get a very good college where there will be placement so jobs are better at these universities that is the advantage okay and then there are many psus which will recruit engineers through gate exam in gate 2024 these are all the psus which have recruited students and in gate 2025 these are all the psus which have recruited the students right and the number is, will increase definitely the number of psu jobs through gate will increase definitely okay and then scientist jobs for engineers you can directly become a scientist if you write gate exam if you clear gate exam you you can directly become a scientist at drdo bark isro bis you can become a scientist and aicte what is aicte aicte is all india council for technical education aicte supports the students by giving them stipends okay so what is the stipend given for masters it is 12400 per month so this money will be sufficient for you to support yourself during your masters okay and coming to phd in october 2023 the ministry of education announced an increase in the stipend now what is the stipend for researchers for jrf the stipend is 37000 for SRF, this stipend is 47,000. Previously, it was 31,000. They increased it to 37. Previously, it was 35,000. They have increased it to 42. And Research Associate 1 will get 58,000 stipend. Research Associate 2 will get 61,000. Research Associate 3 will get 67,000 as the stipend. Okay. So, you can directly do PhD through GATE. You don't have to do Masters. If you do well in GATE exam, you can directly join phd and you will get very good stipend okay <clears throat> and then management there is a program called fellowship program in management which will be a doctoral program and if you you can also join this program through gate exam and this program will be conducted by iams you can join iams through gate exam also if you are interested in management okay and what are the foreign universities which take students from get through gate exam one is NUS, Singapore University, National University of Singapore, Nanyang Technological University, which is also in Singapore, and TUM, Technological University of Munich, which is in Germany, and RWTH, which is in Germany. Two Germany universities and two Singapore universities accept students through gate exam. And what are the jobs in banking sector? You can also join as a specialist officer. IT officer or assistant manager through gate exam.
and what are the project assistant jobs for engineering through gates you can also join as a pro project assistant in csir labs or iits nits iams there will be job openings for project assistants if you clear if you clear gate you can apply for this project assistance and then you can get the job jrf and uh, srf are available now what is this type for project assistant 30000 to 45000 okay so this is all about gate exam thank you so much for watching the video and please join my telegram channel rbr sir pw rbr sir pw okay please join my telegram channel there i will provide you with all the guidance one is practice questions solutions doubt clearing sessions pyqs i will provide everything in the telegram channel please do join okay thank you